Iron Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do a special cook. I'm actually going to make uh, two items for you. Um, one of them was inspired by a video I just watched by another YouTube channel, uh, Smoking, Eric over at Smoking. I'll link to his uh, channel down in the description below. But uh, he made some uh, mashed potatoes, and I've made mashed potatoes uh, sous vide before, but his was a little different, so I think I'm going to kind of not really duplicate his uh, cook, but it's going to be something similar, where I got about three pounds of peeled potatoes here. I had a half a bag of potatoes in the uh, pantry I needed to get used, so I got about three pounds of peeled potatoes. I'm going to use about a stick of butter and about the same amount of cream cheese, about four slices of chopped up bacon, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and I got about a quarter cup of milk, and uh, to that I added about two tablespoons of ranch dressing. I'm going to put this uh, recipe in the description below, but before I uh, put it together, i got to chop up these potatoes. But what else we're going to be cooking with this, with our, this is our side, but we're going to be cooking two pork tenderloins today. So I'm going to have two sous vide things going. So I got my regular uh, sous vide set up with my Gourmet GSV 140. That's where the tenderloins will be going. They're going to cook at about 148 for two and a half hours, or three hours, I'm sorry. And then the uh, potatoes, I'm going to put in the uh, Gourmet GMC 680, which is the uh, standalone model. And the potatoes are going to go in there at about 180 degrees for the same three hours. So we're going to go ahead and get this, uh, get these potatoes chopped up. And I'll be back when I'm throwing them in the bag, sealing them up. And okay, guys, I got cooking. the uh, potatoes all vacuum sealed up. And like I said, what I did, I just, I, I just cubed up the potatoes. You don't have to really go too crazy because they are going to cook in here and get mashed. Uh, cut up the butter just into little, you know, quarter inch chunks and the cream cheese as well. I just kind of threw it all in the bag, dumped about, you know, about a teaspoon, two teaspoons of salt, pepper, and garlic powder, onion powder in there, and then the bacon and the milk, quarter cup of milk with two tablespoons of ranch dressing. And just kind of, they're going to get mushed up. And the way we're, we're going to do this is we're going to throw them in the sous vide bath. And when they're done cooking, we're just going to mash them up in this bag. I'm going to take some... Uh, Put some uh, heat resistant gloves on and we're just going to mush them up in this bag it's going to make it real easy and then we can just pipe them cut a hole in this bag and pipe the mashed potatoes right onto the plate um, and i'm going to throw these pork tenderloins in now too i said they've been marinated in uh, running wilds peach rub for about a day and a half they've been sitting in the refrigerator so we're going to go ahead and throw those in and we'll see you guys in about three hours Okay, y'all, it's been about two hours and 45 minutes, and I think these tenderloins are about ready to go on the grill. I got the grill all heated up. I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the bath and leave the potatoes in for a few more minutes. Um, they can stand them in there and cook a little bit more. But I'm going to throw these uh, tenderloins on the uh, Acorn Junior that I got heated up already. So I'll be back in a okay, second. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I got the uh, tenderloins out of the sous vide. And I patted them dry real good. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of this uh, running wild cherry rub on them. And before we throw them on the grill, put a little on both sides. It's going to go a long way there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these on the grill and char them up a little bit. I'll be back in a second. All right. The grill's reading at about 550, and it's pretty hot. I put a little, a couple of little chunks of hickory wood on there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these on real quick. 
they're not going to be on for very long. We're just going to sear them up because they're already cooked. So I'm going to put them on about a minute on each side. So we're going to leave them in there for a minute and we're going to flip them. All right, it's been on there about a minute. Grills back up to 500. We're going to flip them. on there for another minute or so. Let's go ahead and give them another flip. See how they're doing? Yeah, I'm getting a little char to them. And that's all we're looking for, just get a little bit of color, get a little bit of that smoke added to them. And we'll leave them on here for eh, another minute or so and then we'll take them off. Bring them inside and cut them up. Alright, I think these are about done, guys. And like I said, we're not really cooking them. We're just getting some char to them. Getting a little bit of smoke. So these are looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off. Put them on the pan. And then we're going to let these rest for a minute or so. While we take care of our potatoes. Closing down the grill. And I'll see you inside. And we'll hey guys, I got the tenderloins potatoes. off the grill. And I got my potatoes out here, and this is what I was talking about, what we're going to do. We're just going to leave them in the vacuum bag, because they're already cooked. And we're just going to put, put on my glove liners here that kind of give me some protection from the heat. And we're just going to mush these potatoes in the bag. You don't have to, you know, smush them in a pan or anything. We're just going to be able to mush these up pretty good. If you wanted to, you could take them out, put them in a pan or a bowl, and mush them with a masher, but um, it's easier just to leave them all in the bag here and mush them up by hand. Then you get all that cream cheese and butter and bacon and all the spices all mixed up in together. So I'm going to mush these all up. I'm not going to bore you with me doing it, but these tenderloins are resting a little bit. And then as soon as I get back, we'll cut into that tenderloin and take a bite and have a taste. Okay, you know, I got the back nice. tenderloins are all done. Rested pretty good. Just gonna cut one open here for you. And I just wanted to show you the mashed potatoes, how they came out smashed. Pretty good. They're kind of thick. If you want them a little more mushier, you could use a little bit more milk and butter if you wanted to. If you wanted to make it more whipped, we said you could use a potato masher or put them in your put them in your uh, any kind of way you smash your potatoes the other way. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and take my tenderloin here and just cut off a piece. My Doug Max wants some. I'm going to show you. It's pretty, pretty good. It's not well done. It's more of a medium, medium well. Very tender, like tenderloin should be. Got a little bit of smoke to it. And that cherry rub's pretty strong on there. I like that a lot. Mm. Real juicy. You need to try this. Sous vide makes the pork where you can cook it perfect. Don't have to worry about it being 165 or 170 to kill any germs. It will pasteurize the meat and you can just do it a quick sear and it's perfect. Mm. Gotta check it out guys. Thanks for joining me. Come back again. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I gotta swallow this. Thanks again, guys. Take care.